everyone welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be going over um the best and the worst prop firms uh the most popular prop firms anyway um the ones that have been springing up recently uh, i hope you enjoy the video if you do hit the like button and the, and the subscribe button um and um yeah if if at the end of this video uh you disagree with my um with my rankings then put them in the comments below i'm sure there's going to be some of you that are going to dis disagree with me so uh yeah let's let's get into it um so before we get into anything i do just want to say that this is my opinion i do not know what it is like to trade for any of these firms i don't represent any of these firms in any way i'm not linked to any of them um and yeah this is 100 percent my opinion from an outsider's point of view um on basically what i think of what their kind of offer is obviously i could be completely wrong um but this is just my opinion so if you agree with my opinion then let me know in the comments below and if you don't agree with my opinion let me know in the comments below as well so basically all this is it goes from d to s uh, d is the worst s is the best um and yeah let's get started so obviously we do have trade happy um i think the trade happy right now is a good a okay now this is you know quite biased i mean very biased um but the reason i haven't put it in s is just because there's a few things that i think need uh, improving before it becomes a top 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 quality um firm so yeah i put that in in s um there is only one firm that i think is an s um and again it is from an outsider's point of view so I've, i haven't traded for them um but you know i have interviewed the ceo i have spoken to him um and you know i've, I've seen what they're doing so um company that i think is going to be s is audacity capital uh, i love what they're doing in terms of um, the structure to the way that they get traders i love the way that they give training to their traders um yeah i just think the history of the firm is solid um and i think that you know from an outsider's point of view they are a top 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 quality firm um and personally if i was going to trade for a firm i would probably trade for audacity capital um you know if i wasn't doing trade happy <laughs> um so yeah i've put audacity capital at s um and yes here we go here's the big one that everyone's thinking about uh ftmo right now obviously these can change let's say i put them in rever this can change so you know later on if i fill all these things out it could change where it goes up or down so um just because it's where it is right now doesn't mean that it's going to change okay so i'm going to put ftmo um i'm going to put ftmo in the c i'm going to keep it there for now i'll keep it there um the reason i've put it there is because i'm not a massive fan of trading with a demo account so they give you a demo account um to trade i'm not a massive fan of that um and i'm just not a massive fan also of the 30 day limit on the on the trading times so i think that um as a trader you shouldn't be forced to trade okay and that's what ftmo are doing right you have to trade the 30 days or you have to you have to trade um, because otherwise if you don't trade then you fail the challenge in 30 days okay i'm just not a fan of that i think that you can't pressure a trader to take trades if they're not feeling well if their trading plan isn't working that month or their psychology isn't there okay trading is a long-term business it's not a short-term business and at the end of the day if trading if getting profitable traders and getting good traders is that is at the top of your list 
then you shouldn't put a 30 day limit on the trades. That's just my opinion on it. Um, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of traders that are going to have different opinions on that. Put them in the comments below and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you on any of those. Um, so next one I'm going to do is five percenters. I think that five percenters is a solid B. Um, I think that they have a very, very good offering. Um, you know, I think that I think that they're they're a solid firm. Okay, I think it's a good bet. You know, you're not gonna get anything incredible, but you're not gonna get something that's bad. Okay, I'm gonna put CTI right next to them. Okay, both of these I think are exactly the same. Um, I would actually say that uh, five percent is a little bit better than CTI, um, but you know it's very very close. So. There are a few things I think that they can improve on. Um, that obviously we've implemented ourselves um, and the Audacity Capital have done themselves as well. So I think one that one is actually well, something that is missing on here is S and B Capital. S, that's a weird M. S and B Cap, okay. I would say SMB Capital is up there with S, okay? I would say they're one of the best. Um, so, yeah. Now we're getting into these. So, uh, Fiddlecrest. I'm probably saying that wrong. Fiddlecrest. But um, I don't know much about them. But I don't like their fees. So I'm going to have to put them down at this. Down at the D. Um, so, I just... I Yeah. The fees are just ridiculously high from the last time I checked. Um, and yeah, I just get a little bit confused about the payouts and all that kind of stuff. So I'm putting them down here. Same with this one. Now I'm sure there's going to be quite a few people that are going to disagree with me on that one as well. But I have to say, I think that they're down there. Um, with the recent stuff that has come out about them, um, obviously I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't traded for them. But from what i've seen and from what traders have been telling me in the community um they're down there with with uh fiddle crust so last one is top step trader i'm gonna have to put them let's see okay the reason i've done that is because it's mainly from what i know of futures firm and i don't trade futures now that's nothing against the firm if i was a futures trader i would probably have them up here but just because i'm a forex trader i'm gonna have them down here um so yeah they're really kind of in the middle um i would probably maybe even put them there because for a, for a futures trader from what i know they're good um you know i've i've been interviewed on their podcast they were really really nice um yeah, they were a, a good group of people, um, and yeah, I have I have a good kind of uh, reputation with them. So that is the order that I'm going with. Um, let me know in the comments below if you disagree. I'm sure that you will disagree. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. And um, yeah, if I've missed any firms, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll let you know where I would put them. Um, so yeah, have a good day. And uh, if, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and I will see you in the next video.